Here's how it looks for the United States. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where their fullbacks will get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. Snoo eyes. Can they forge ahead? blocked and the defender got the last touch that'll be a corner of course he's playing with a purpose great reflex action well that should have been a goal mind you it's a brilliant save Andy Sullivan. Can she put it away? And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. And a timely one, Stuart. Well, that does give them some hope because that would have been the end. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? And the final whistle. Defeat here for the Netherlands. Stuart, your assessment as regards their performance. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance.